Hello, guitar people on YouTube. I'm a little bit excited because years ago I played a Yamaha Yamaha Yamaha, Yamaha Rev Star um, at the trade show in Frankfurt at the uh, Electro Harmonics booth, and I was really impressed by that guitar. I just couldn't put it down. And fuck the Electro Harmonics pedals. The guitar was just great, and um, I'm really excited that now I get to check out some uh, for you for Yamaha who are p paying for this video. Um, as you may or may not see, uh, also they're not paying for my opinion because, well, I'm going to say whatever I want to say. Um, I literally just took these out of the box 30 seconds ago. So we're looking at two rev stars in this video and then two more in another video. We're going to start with the RS320, which clocks in at 339, so that's definitely a budget guitar. And then at the RS502T, don't know what that means, but we're looking at it, which clocks in at 599 so 339 and 599 definitely uh, a jump we should notice a jump in quality and parts and uh, features uh, for the Pacificas that I reviewed there was a clear jump with only a hundred bucks more now I'm gonna just grab this RS320 it's got quite a bit of weight to it okay this is uh, a heavier guitar now uh, these are Yamaha's non-bolt-ons. They are set neck guitars, as we say, which means the neck is glued in right here. There's no bolts. It's not bolt-on. Michael Bolt-on. Get it? It's a singer. Um, so, glued in, which also means the neck is not uh, natural, so the neck's also painted. Um, so, let's see what I noticed right away. I love the color. That just... Great. Um, really, I, I love the design. It's kind of a double cut, but not symmetrical. Um, I really like the headstock, which is relatively small. And with the bend, everything about the shape is kind of cool. And you can't put that in a, in a category. Is that a indie guitar? Is that a classic rock guitar? Is that a metal guitar? You could totally meddle with this. I mean, visually speaking, this actually fits into anything. Uh, blues. So it's a very open design, stylistically. First thing I notice is the volute. I call it a guitar tit or a teta de guitarra in Spanish. Um, you can see it's a little bit thicker up there because the headstock, because the headstock is angled, they put a little bit more meat there, a little bit more wood, so that a headstock break doesn't occur. Um, we have no name tuners here, as far as I can tell. A um, little bit of a different design than on the Pacificas. We have a stop tail piece. Interestingly, this is reversed. They did whatever was necessary. Um, we have two humbuckers and a three position switch with a unique kind of a tip on it. Metal jack blade. The hamster's happy. King hamster. Uh, this is overall a nice piece of gear. Cream colored dots and they're a little bit smaller. Beautifully painted fretboard, center dots in the side. Um, let's look at some stats in case I forgot anything. Um, the corpus is NATO, the corpus, the, the body is NATO. Uh, the neck is NATO. I think that's a form of mahogany. Uh, the fretboard is uh, rosewood, so they have to have CITES documents for that because rosewood needs to be documented now. Um, it's a slim neck profile. Yeah, it's not Ibanez slim, but it's slim. Um, 350 radius, 43 millimeters, so it's a little bit wider. Uh, it's well, it's a baby dolphin about right here. A scale of 628 millimeters, 22 frets, uh, ceramic humbuckers, master volume, master tone, blah, 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 ice blue. So, let's see what Yamaha in the Revstar series gives us for 329. First of all, we need to tune and see how easy that is with this puppy. <laughs> First of all, I'm 
impressed with the Peterson Strup tuner right there because it's so freaking quick and precise. But I'm also impressed with what Yamaha puts on the inexpensive guitars because these are very precise. There's no jumping, there's no uh, no clicks at the beginning. It's just they're the good tuners. Fat sound, there is no single chord options. It's just all fat. You're hearing the Tone King Sky King, by the way, on clean. Well, what we would like to call clean, but it isn't. Because the guitar's pushing the amp quite a bit. Quite a bit of output on the humbuckers. guitar for the clean aficionado because it has output which means it's driving the amp so you'd really have to roll back and then you're rolling back the high end in the back you here I'm gonna go to the marshal. Dirty, dirty ass guitar. Oh, we're gonna go to the Marshall JCM 800. Let's go to the Friedman BE module in the SIN 50 head. <laughs> Using Kettner Black Spirit 200. <laughs> Thank you. 
boxes, but not those. Uh, okay, so let's, let's give the verdict. This thing is not necessarily the greatest beginner guitar because stylistically, I'm gonna say it's a little bit uh, limited. It puts out a lot of volume, which means not great for cleans or strumming cleans or, or in beginner chords and stuff like this. Um, it is fizzly thick. This is great classic rock material. This is great fuzz material. This is great um, punk material. This is a great rhythm axe for the rock and punk player. Uh, as a beginner guitar, I think it's, it's a little bit too limited. Might also be with 339 a little bit out of the price range of a lot of beginners, but if you're rocking with your socks off, then the RS320 is pretty damn awesome. Um, now let's see what you get for 600. For 600, Yamaha, I haven't opened this, um, is giving you a gig bag. Thick padding, gig bag is not so padded, but the straps are. Um, but it's decent, and at least they're giving you a gig bag. Schecter doesn't give you shit even for 1600 bucks. Guitars come out of a cardboard box, like the RS320. Now this doesn't. In the cardboard box you find this gig bag, and at 600 bucks, that is something that I very much appreciate. I don't insist on it, but it's nice that it's there. So, let's see. Much lighter than the 320. It smells good. It comes with elixir strings, which are like 20 bucks a pop, uh, a, a, a pop, a pack. Um, I like already the satin finish, silvery, goldy tuners, whatever they're called. I can't get this thing off. Come on, come on, here we go. Elixir strings, which are coated. Um, we got two P90s, so that's definitely a different kind of an idea of a guitar. Um, we have a cream binding. Ooh, we have a very... What the? Uh, there's a... Whoa! No, no, no! There's a... There's a... Whoa. Okay, uh, so so we've got this stub tail piece, also satin brushed, which is beautiful, and the knobs are brushed, and the, the switch tip is the same. Um, I'm, 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 I'm a little bit excited here. Uh, because this is a tail piece which is attached to the body with four screws. And that means it should have a lot of uh, contact where the strings are hooked in. It should make a lot of contact, well it does make a lot of contact with the body. We have um, a high gloss, again high gloss in black, you see everything on it. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan. Same thing, set neck, volute. Let's see what the stats are saying. I'm, I'm excited about this tailpiece. Um, it's a mahogany body, not NATO. Uh, <coughs> maple cap, but of course you can't see that. A mahogany neck, uh, to medium profile, uh, rosewood fretboard, again the 350 radius, 43 millimeters, 22 frets, 628, which is a baby dolphin, uh, shape, uh, uh, scale, two Alnico P90s, uh, push-pull dry switch, what is that? Dry switch. Maybe that takes the tone out completely? Who knows? Also comes in bold and green, which I would have preferred to black because... But I mean, let's look at this thing. That's a very unique tailpiece construction there. And usually I don't like the big tailpieces, but that's kind of cool and sexy because it's not made to be oldified, but with a brushed mm -hmm. thing, it, 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 it feels modern. So, we're gonna go and check the tuning again. And again, very, very precise. We're again in the uh, Tone King. There's thickness galore. But sparkliness. It leaves it a little bit cleaner than the 
Marshall SV20H. <laughs> JVM H uh, hundred JCM Cutter. <laughs> Let's move on to a couple things. Uh, here's the uh, Morgan AC20. Fuzzing with this guitar. Savage 120 <laughs> Using Katner Black Spirit 200 <laughs> BE module in the SYN 50. <laughs> today if you're looking for a p90 equipped guitar that's the one to get and i will tell you 100 percent right now because of my own free will no one forcing me to do that uh, or paid me to do that um there are some guitars with p90s from the authentic kind you know for the authentic brand mm -hmm. there's no way them or their cheap ass brand the one with e is going to give you this with the gig bag, that quality, that playability, that sound, that fatness, that fun nititude, the fun nititude for $5.99. I'm impressed. 
Revstar, what's it called? RS502T. It's original. It's not authentic. It doesn't try to be. It's a Revstar. But that's impressive, especially for that money. I had no idea. I knew the Revstars were good, didn't know they were that good with all the features. Links below. Thanks, Leslie, for switching. Uh, please, you know, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, subscribe down there. It's very important for me because companies look at that. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for everything you guys do for me. Links below. Animals at the end. Yeah.